Okay, hi, I'm Larry Krastowski. I farm uh, land that shouldn't be farmed. Uh, it is the old lake bed of Lake Erie. And uh, from a gazillion years ago, uh, the land that we farm, my family and myself farm, was at one time the bottom of, of Lake Erie. And if you were to pull the water out of Lake Erie and walk across it right now, you'd notice that it is ter perfectly flat. And the, our soil is called minor soil. Uh, at one time it was bottom and it is uh, a zero to two percent slope. So it's a very heavy ground, it's a very crusting ground, and a very poorly drained ground. And I got into strip tilling years ago with my old single row corn planter because uh, I needed the warm up of the ground in the early spring. I was having a lot of trouble with uh, germination, I was having trouble with slugs, um, I was having trouble with trash, and uh, so I needed to change to, to change something there. So when I got a strip tiller, strip till machine with the trash cleaners on the front of it that eliminated my trash problem, and then I had a better warm up in the spring and much better germination and way better yields on my, my crops. But the problem there is that was great for my corn, but I still had nothing for my soybeans. And so I wanted to go to a uh, twin row planter uh, the advantage of the twin row planter is I could plant the corn and the beans in an eight inch wide row, one pair of rows every 30 inches. So you have a row, eight inches, you have the next row, 22 inches a skip, then two more rows, eight inches apart. And I plant the, both the corn and the beans. Now, how I strip with them is I still do exactly the same strip that I did when I had the, uh, just the 30 inch planter except now I make my berm a little bit wider, 12 inches wide, and I plant eight inch wide in the 12 inches, so it works out very well. The reason I wanted a twin row planter is that I wanted to up my population. My ground is very wet, high moisture holding ground. Uh, it's all rented ground, it's not ground that I owned, and I cannot afford to systematically tile it. I have tile put in it, but it's just random tiles. And I have the subsoil moisture to go way up to 45,000 seeds per acre. I can't do that with an old 30 inch row, okay? So I considered going to 20 inch rows and I considered going to 20, uh, 30 inch uh, uh, twin rows. And the advantage of the 30 inch twin rows is that it gave me the widest spacing between the seeds, wider than even a 20 inch row would be and I can plant my corn and beans in that. Plus, when I plant my beans, we have a lot of crusting trouble if we, with the old grain drill and with the old planters. When I'm putting the soybeans in a, in, in a decent population, like 160,000 per acre, um, the soybean seeds are close enough together in a twin row that they will help each other push through the hard crust should there be a crust. Plus, my new planter doesn't crust on top like the old one did as much. So it's been a win-win-win with that. So the twin rows work very, very well. Strip tilling them absolutely works as well. Strip tilling the double row as it did the single row. Keep in mind, my strip till machine is the same one. I just have one shank every 30 inches, but I'm planting a row in each side of that 30-inch strip.